Hello everyone and welcome back to Chaos Fatal here with your Master of Horror for the evening. And a world hole lying in bed one. So I'm outside of the well for once. <laughs> and I have with me a small altar, which is actually destined to be installed near the cover for its protective ward. But uh, it's got enough power, just about, to have a rite of sanctity in it. And that is good because today we are facing the uh, Horned Huntsman. And that means I have brought with me a little ritual just to make sure he doesn't murder my face. At least not immediately. And that is, if I have read the ingredients correctly, redstone and a feather. Okay, good, that's in place. I also went back to the cabin, and I picked up the boom stick, because I'm um, pretty damn certain I'm going to need it. Now, the first guy we are capturing, as if we can, into a safari net for our nefarious schemes. And I'm also going to put on some diamond armor, because this dude hits pretty hard. Uh, let's see, stick that in there, stick that in there. Probably won't use the bow at all, I've only got the three arrows for it, because I still haven't managed to get myself... Anything resembling a uh, a skeleton spawner, and the witch's hand isn't really very offensive, but it might at least help me get into this faster. And let me see. Let's keep half of those in there, and I need that on me. Don't need my keys. And I think that's about it. Okay, so to summon the horned huntsman. Uh, let me just do it some distance away from my protective circle. We need to, let's see, go up twice, like that. And, let me see, let me, I need that on the sides, I think it is. And then up, 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 up. And now we need to be facing outwards like that. Basically we're trying to imitate the shape of the wicker men that you will find out in the wild so that we can set it on fire. Uh, has to be by one of the top two blocks, I should note on that. And then hopefully flee to the safety of our Right of sanctity as quickly as we can, and uh, I think that's right. We can have a fly around. I think there's one or two still roaming. Uh, let me see. Actually, I can just pull up the image card. Like that seems like the smarter option. So let's see. Witchery has its own wiki site, and on that, oh, the sun's going down. Lovely. On that, you can find an image which shows all of the world's generated objects, which just so helpfully includes the, uh, the... Blah, 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 blah. My brain is apparently dead right now, uh, which just so happens to include the specific thing that we're looking for. Uh, let me see... Structures is what I'm looking for. And, okay, so... We did most of this right. Uh, these need to be on the side, like the head is. And you do need to pattern this after the uh, creature, after the wild ones. Or else it goes kind of squivvy. Okay, so I'll stick that there. So we can get that. And we'll stick this there. I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to do this because it isn't necessarily straightforward. Uh, nope, like that. Like that. Okay, he's looking better. Okay, uh, perfect. Like that. Whoop, not there. There. Yeah, I had, there isn't really anywhere that explicitly tells you how to do this, so I was quite often setting fire to the middle section or the feet or something, as you would expect a wicker man to be done, and that just wasn't working out, so... Eventually, I did it from the head, 
and that seemed to do the trick. Okay, so stick that there. And just to give you guys a nice look of it. Okay, so that is what your assembled wicker man should look like. And didn't I have another? Oh, there it is. Well, that's fine by me, because I need to be up here. Okay, so... Now I have a flint and steel. And... <laughs> this may be the last you see of me, because this dude is legitimately one of the most mightiest creatures I've had to fight, even in creative mode. So, uh, I'm just going to stick this flint and steel close to my witch's hand, Ooh, which that piggy is having trouble entering into our circle there. Nice. And... Kadoosh. So there he is. I am on fire. And he is charging up. And now he's actually going to come and attack us. Oh, thanks, Meg. We can actually do that. Okay, that's a good sign. So now we have a 400 health horned huntsman in a safari net. Now these guys, most, they drop a fairly few kind of uninteresting things, but the most interesting thing they, they do drop is the uh, it is is a random enchanted book. So now we now now comes the harder part of actually killing the dude. And if we hurry, we won't actually be able to save some of these. Yep. Although they do appear to have scrambled slightly. That's interesting. Look at that, this head has gone all wonky. I'm not entirely certain what did that. Presumably has to do with rotations or the summoning or something, I don't know. But, uh, it takes 20 bloodied wicker bundles to do that. And... Beep, beep, I just saved two of them. Well, actually, I just saved six of them. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And to make the bloodied wicker bundles, you need demonic blood. You get four of those per demon heart. So it's uh, particularly help helpful in this mod pack, at least, if you happen to have such a creature uh, at your ready disposable. And I chose my words very carefully there. <laughs> oh, that's why his head looks weird. It's because we burned off the top of it. Huh. Okay. Now also on the server at the moment is Kieran Dave, our local mod pack expert, uh, who was responsible for making the Resonant Rise pack. And he just needs the two bits on his head, doesn't he? Yup. So this dude, I am actually going to try and murder. Now, exactly how successful I'll be on that, we're about to find out. So, one there, one there. Yeah, I might as well just keep that there. Okay. So, on that note, and actually I'm going to eat and get my health back up, because I'm already starting at just past half health there, and that can't be good for me. Nine and a half armor, so I'm not too bad on that. I've got f if I absolutely have to flee, and by some means he manages to start killing me inside of that circle as well, I should be alright, because I've got my witch's hand and a lot of... Uh, infusion power, so teleporting back will t still take me back to the cabin, though. Actually, I wonder what happens if he dies inside the inside the uh, tainted area. This, by the way, is the uh, tainted area that is just south of Nipty's place. That's Nipty's home right there. And uh, that's something he's working on. I don't know if he's showed that in his videos yet. And that is the home of uh, one Mr. Strife and Mr. Parvis. And Mr. Kieran Dave himself, I believe, is living not too far away from us. Let's see if I can find him. Yep, there he is. That's Dave's. That's over Dave's place. But uh, now I'm just babbling on to try and kill time so that I do, I can regen health and hopefully put this off for a little longer. Well, tell you. Yup. Oh, good. This is still working. So yeah, he's a bit strapping the as you can see. Uh, and here he comes. Oh, balls, that did very well to it, didn't it? But since he can't come into here... Well, yep, yeah, he will occasionally summon his fellows, who also can't come in here, but he can also shoot ranged weaponry. Well, 
one doing okay. Look, unfortunately, it looks like his dogs can't come in here either! But he can knock me out of that, if I'm not careful. I am running out of ammunition. Fortunately, for being concussive, these bullets don't cause terrain damage and therefore will not stop my ritual. I have one magazine left. Well, and he's big, and he's fast. Well, in the circle, in the circle. Yeah. I need to regain some health, jeez. Oh, Mr. Shot. Ooh, bad place to be, bad place to be. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, this is very bad. This is a bad place to be. This is a very bad place to be. Yep. Oh. And now I have a problem, actually. Because firstly, there's a horned huntsman running around. Secondly, I have neither a broom nor... Uh, this could be problematic. Okay, well, fortunately, I still have access to all my s all my items in here and stuff, so... I guess I'm going to have to do it my way out. Uh, we'll just take the normal compressed dirt. Ugh. All them arrows. Right, well, this is going to make something of a mess of our well, but needs must. Doop. Uh, I go up this way, I think that'll work out better. Doop. It's not too long of a run, at least. And then, hopefully, I'll be able to get in there and grab some stuffs before I have to worry about anything else. And I always run the wrong way out of this thing. Yep. But at least now I'm full health, and he hopefully isn't. We're about to find out. And the map, very helpfully, immediately switches to player deaths. But 400 health! These guys are not pushovers. Not remotely like the demon, and we had help with the demon. <laughs> and then to get the demon down to the one health, I just splashed it with various poison potions before catching it. I think I punched it a few times in a very small, confined space. And is he going to be waiting for us? I suppose we'll see his name come up soon, if he is. Uh, but our defensive circle should still be in place. Yeah, he's still there. Meandering about. Well, he has spotted us. He has spotted us. No, 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 no. And there's my chest. Okay. Need to dig this up. Oh god, this is... Okay, we're okay. Since the ritual is still running, it doesn't need to care about the circles. Ow. Yeah, apparently I have a tongue of dog. I'm not quite sure how. Armor on, armor on, armor on. No, I did not just turn that off. Good. Whoop. Um. Okay. Well, that was lag. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh. This is going to get more and more problematic the longer we have to do it. <laughs> grab that. Grab that. Grab one, two, three of those. Okay. And I keep hitting... I've been playing on Credo City a bunch lately, so I keep hitting control as though that's the button that will actually get me to sprint. Totally isn't. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but it doesn't look like his health is regenerating, or else it would be a lot higher. And to the best of my knowledge, Dave is presently trying to remove the curse that I put on him. Yeah, if he has too much trouble, I will go over there and help him out, but that's... We're stuck. Um, we're sealed in the well, because I didn't bring a pick with me. Good thing we have the gravestones, or else I'd really have to worry about my items despawning. 
I like more weird about what happened if someone wanders up on him. Because you saw him, he is blooming fast. Uh, spare pick anywhere. I'll take that one. And I don't have any spare armor that would be worth mentioning. I could put some together, but I'd rather not. Okay, and I, I'm thinking I'll replace these with other covers like that. Right. And up. Doop, doop. And I need to go this way, where there are now the two death markers. <laughs> well, I knew this guy was going to be tough when I was spawned him the first time. Yeah, I should grab some food. I'm not going to be regenerating now. Yep. Suddenly I'll turn into Patrick Troughton. Okay. Over here. And over here. And the two markers are actually distinct, which is nice, at least. Uh, we should be coming in range of his title soon. Where is he? Horned Huntsman, there he is. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I can see him now. <laughs> other side, other side, other side. Okay. Whoa. How? Oh, balls. The, the circle's not running. The circle's not running. He's running into the circle now. Oh, God. This is problematic. Could you hit the pig for me? Give me some food. Thank you. Although he just one-shot that pig. I'm about to go. Not good, not good. I can't run. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have a problem. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... <laughs> hey, that second time was lag. I have the footage to prove it. But, uh, yeah, that is the Horned Huntsman. And that is the dude that will be waiting people when they get brought down the well. Uh, <laughs> and now he's presently the dude waiting for me to go and get my items back. But, um, I hope that was interesting. Anyway, me heading up the well and all sorts is going to be way too long for this episode. Again, so I'm going to grab some kind of weaponry and armor before I head out this time, and then hopefully next episode I'll begin by showing you off the spoils of war. Uh, but up until then, catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favourite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.